We changing this today. Look at this. Zip tied ass. Old studio headphones having ass. Gotta go. How they gonna take me serious if I don't take me serious? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What we gonna do is we gonna switch it up. All right, I'm gonna make this some quick sh We just gonna change the headset. And we gonna, we gonna do a review on it. I'm gonna unbox it real quick. Show you what's inside of it. And then we just gonna get busy. I can't have these in my house one more day without using them. Let's get it. So for me, this review is going to take a week or something, you know, whatever. I want to play with it, give it a, a good feel or whatever before I post a video. But for you guys, it's going to be a matter of seconds. So look, I got the Black Shark Pro. All right, Razor. It's not that appealing on the eyes. Looks like some shit like, like you just jumped out of a helicopter on Call of Duty or some shit. But it's, it's all good. Uh, what they say about it, though. What they say about it is completely different. Okay. You feel me? So what we're gonna do is use this shit, abuse this shit, and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. All right. So right out the box, oh, if, it's got a good weight to it though. They look much better in person. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I mean the cushion, it's soft. I've definitely felt better. But, uh, oh wow. That's pretty soft. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so the earpieces are pretty soft. I only have one hand. So, can't really do too much. I don't have a tripod or nothing yet. I should get one. But, they seem like they'd be pretty comfortable, you know? Let me try them real quick. Silent. Like, I can't hear nothing. Imagine playing the game. Why would you buy them with these things, boy? All right. Uh, we definitely got to try these out. What else comes in the box? What is this? What the motherfucker? No one uses this shit, bro. I'm being real with you. Like, I might use this shit to, like, hold some Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm assuming this is a charging cable. Oh, this is the connect up to aux cable connect up so that you can still play it when uh it's not charged or whatnot. You can hook it up to your controller, which I'm be using on PC. It's a charging cable. I like when they send them with these little cool things on. It just it's not really that important. It doesn't really change that, but it's just like a little cover. I mean, I don't think anybody keeps it past the first day, but whatever. Um. See what this is right here. Manual. I'm pretty sure all the instructions, as soon as you plug this shit in, it's probably gonna work, especially seeing that everything comes with a program now. So it's probably gonna be uh really quick, like hey, oh I love this. This is one of the main reasons why I got it, because I have the Yeti Nano. And uh this is important because I could detach this. I do not like the fact that it looks like, like I said. Um, in the intro, looks like you just jumped out of a helicopter on Warzone, but it is what it is. Or maybe you're the pilot and you never leave the helicopter. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, not going to go there. What is this? A USB connector. So it, it comes with one. So you don't have to like buy one separately to hook up to your computer. Now we're going to go on to this. Now, what I've noticed is that they made this like an infinite box, bro. I don't know how to open this shit. The way, why they tuck this shit in like this? I'm about to literally figure out how to open this shit. Oh, but I bought this, the stand, RGB. Huge fan of RGB. I know everybody hates Rainbow Puke, but 
that's not me. Um, I bought this just to, why not? Why not? It can hang there. I don't got to hook up something separate on my desk, make it look all crazy. Uh, I could just literally just sit my shit here and charge it overnight. So when I get home and I'm ready to use it, I could just use it, you know? So uh, why not? And plus, I'm not hard on cash right now. So why not just buy one of these and uh, and use it? Let me figure out how to open the box. <laughs> never said that I wasn't semi-retarded. I never said that. I never told anyone this. So if anyone ever says it, you know what I'm saying? That's how you open the box. <laughs> All right, look at this. What the mother f did I buy? What is this? Oh, the cable. Okay, got you. Say less, box. All right, bam. All right, so got your phone. Got your RGB dock. Here's the headphones, what they look like on it. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I'm putting things over there, boy. They're gonna look good, boy. They're gonna look good today. So before I start using these, I just want to go over some of the features that I see on here. So this looks like a um, a volume button right here. Um, I'm not sure if it clicks. Nah, sometimes they click and stuff, meaning you can just cut your audio off like that. Um, if we look a little closer, what is that? That's the power button right there um, to the right. Then this is the mute audio button right here. Actually, let me see if I can do this. Power button, mute audio, charging. Um, this is the, should be the aux connector for the, or whatever you want to call it for the uh, microphone, I believe, or this one is. Uh, this might be the one that connects to your uh, controller. Yeah, this is for the microphone. This one connects to your, uh, your controller if you're using a, P a PlayStation or Xbox, whatnot. Um, there's not really anything else on the other side. Like I said, like these are not the most appealing headphones. Like these don't look like, these look like you just jumped out of a helicopter. But um, they do fit comfortable though. Putting them on, I could definitely see me playing with these for a long time. I'm gonna actually try to time myself in a playthrough of something and see how long I could comfortably wear it without it bothering me. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, so that didn't happen. Um, but it's all good. Uh, I did play with it for long periods of time. Just didn't time myself. It's been about a week, maybe two, since I started using it. I just want to go over a couple things. I would honestly, I'm just going to start with this. I give this like a 9 out of 10. Easy. This headset is amazing, really. I did not use the attachable uh, mic. But um, nonetheless, I did use, uh, I kept using my Nano. I, I, I intended on doing that anyway. Let me just go through a few things. Try to make this under 10 minutes. So it is soft, comfortable, easy to wear for long periods of time for gamers. Um, it's great for competitive play, for solo storylines, uh, for video editing. I mean, you could do anything with it, really. I haven't played with the adjustments inside of, uh, what's that called? Synapse or whatever it's, it's called. Uh, I haven't gotten any headaches, haven't had ear strains. The old heads that I had gave me ear strains. After like a couple hours, my head will start hurting. Um, it's all black, so if you like the stealth look, you know what I'm saying? That's something that, if it appeals to you, it's clean, it's simplistic. I love that. I do love the fact that there's two charging ports, uh, USB charging ports on the stand. So if you want to charge your controller along with your headset, you can do that. I only use it for my headset at the time being. The RGB, if you're not an RGB fan, it's just a little bit of RGB. It's not a lot. Only negative that I found is that the thumb drive for the headset, if you put it, well, if I put it in the back of my PC, I'm not sure if it's the USB port I got in the back. It did disconnect a little bit. Once I put it into the front of my PC, works flawlessly. Hasn't done it since. I love the, the volume knob. Seamless, really easy to use. Works great. Wide range of audio. If you want it to be really quiet, you can make it really quiet, really loud. It could be really loud. That's about it, man. I don't know, for the price of 180, I just felt like I should at least do a, a decent review and let you know what I think. And if you're spending your money on it, if it's gonna be something I'm gonna back up, it's gotta be something that I use. I personally bought these, I personally use these, I personally love these. So like, I, I feel like for the price of 180, it is steep, but it's not $400 and it's not 60. So 
I like buying things in the middle. I feel like this really hits the, the golden spot, you know, nowadays. Yeah, man, go out and grab you a pair. Easy. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good day and hopefully you buy the headset, man. Enjoy what I've been enjoying. All right, man. Take care.